see anything. Open the thing. I don't want to end like this. You have to calm down, Tim. Just think. I'm in a coffin, that's for sure. So what'll I do now? Jesus, how shall I calm down? I just want to get out. You won't break your fist through it. You're no boxer, Tim. You have to think harder. It's all around. Is this some kind of a coffin lining or something? It absorbs sound so nobody can hear me shut. If fists can't break it, nails will do. Ah, it's gone. But so are my nails. Ah, oh, it hurts like hell. If there's a yard of earth above me, then it's over. It won't move, but I won't give up. Not yet. Hey! 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 What the hell was that? It's getting loose. He must have woken up just like me. He tried to get out but failed. I should be lying there, not him. If only I was faster. If only I did something back there in the damn theater. I can't leave him here just like that. I'll go and find a priest. I'm sure Brian would wish it so. Adieu smokes too much. He wraps his cigarettes in the theatre leaflet. If it's from the abandoned theatre, then it might be a clue. Hmm, the leaflet isn't complete. I need to ask one of the locals. I'll never find the theatre by myself. One stinking egg. What good luck. I hope that's the last thing I can do for my friend. I know this place. I'll try to find the priest. Good evening. Perhaps you did not notice, young man, but it is too late. Our doors are closed. Uh, but I need something. It's urgent. Try again tomorrow. A friend of mine died today, and I'd like to arrange at least a slightly normal funeral for him. Could you come with me? What? Now, in the middle of the night? Where? It's not far from the town. He's in a pit under the gallows. But it is a pure nonsense. What are you thinking? This is not the way funerals are arranged. And furthermore, the earth under the gallows is not sanctified. Only murderers and suicides lie up there. He wasn't a suicide. He was a decent man who never harmed anybody. 
didn't deserve such an indignant end. It is not possible. I am sorry. It is too late. It's never too late for a good deed. I am not a fool. I am not going anywhere with you. Do you understand? I swear I don't want anything else. Just the funeral. As I already said, if you need help, I can arrange it, but not this way. Bring the body. We will complete all the necessary forms, and then we shall see. Can we do something else? Give me something I can put in this coffin. A crucifix or something. I don't want him to end up in a hole just like a dog. This is insane. I am seriously considering calling the police. That's not necessary. Just forget I was ever here. I won't try anything as long as the priest's here. When I was a kid, I used to believe it was somehow enchanted. Even today, I still don't know what to think about it. I'll improve it a bit. Me and Brian used to do this to distract the priest's attention while we were robbing the donation box. Good old days. Oh God, what an awful stench. Perhaps I did not express myself clearly. Could you leave, please? Just calm down, okay? This place stinks like a sewer. When was the last time you changed the holy water? What are you talking about? You can't smell it. The holy water is spoiled. It's almost impossible to breathe in here. It is not possible. What is stench? And I didn't notice it before. I must get rid of it immediately. Just go. I'll keep an eye on the place. I died. Brian would do anything he could to make sure that I had peace. I'll take this thing and put it in his coffin. It's the least I can do. Goodbye, my friend. I'll miss you like hell. I can't tell where exactly the theatre is. One of the locals might know. Go away, or I'll release the dog. Emily, you have no dog. Who's there? The poor chap to whom you provided clothes and who then ran to the pub. Are you still angry? Oh my God, Tim. Wait a second, I'll open the door. What a surprise. I thought I'd never see you again. Hi, Emily. I'm sorry, I couldn't come earlier. You were arrested, I know. What a smart girl you are. Sure I am. So you're not angry anymore? No. I know the girl who's working at the Salted Cheek. I heard you helped her, and I'm very grateful for that. How grateful? You can stay here if you want, but don't expect anything more from me. Ah, oh, you haven't changed at all, Emily. But thanks for letting me stay, at least. You're a fantastic girl.
Emily, do you remember my pal? I was supposed to meet him in a pub. Not really. What was his name? Brian. Unfortunately, he's dead. Oh, Tim, I'm really sorry. Me too. Listen, Emily, I want to find his murderer. But all I have is this. Do you happen to know where this theatre is? It's been closed for a couple of years. Don't be a fool, Tim. Leave it up to the police. No, I can't. Will you help me? All right, then. I know where it is. You have to go to the main square. Then head north. It'll lead you to where you need to go. You can't miss it. It's the oldest building in the district. Nobody goes there. Thank you, Emily. For me, as well as for Brian. Just promise me you won't screw up, Tim. I've finished with screw-ups. I promise. Blasted. Somebody got ahead of me. I have to follow him quickly. Where's he gone to? My God. Isn't that the bastard who beat me up in the pub? Yeah, it's him. He was surprised from behind. Enjoy the eternal dreams. He has nothing that could be useful. Damn. He must have had a hidden boat. I'll go ahead and see how far I can get by foot. For a long time I was guided by the light he probably had fastened on his boat. After it got lost in the distance, I wanted to give up. Yet I went on. Almost mad with fear, I was blindly running about. But I kept going as far as I could. further. Damn. I'll go back. This is useless. This is the end. I have to go back. He has something in his hand. Maybe it belonged to the Knight Rider. At last, Mr. Moore. Are you surprised to see me? Ah, oh, damn. I'm not going to arrest you, Mr. Moore. I could have done that back there in the church. You aren't careful enough. So, what do you want from me? I've come to settle the dead. I don't owe you anything. Yes, you do. We made a deal, but you betrayed me. You escaped and murdered. You don't belong in jail, Mr. Moore. You'll end up on the gallows. Jack did it. We couldn't do anything. Stop the lies. Are you going to tell me the old man's death was also Jack's work? You killed him just because he woke up while you were robbing his vault. You are nothing but a murderer to me. Wait a minute, this must be a mistake. The old man was alive. I promise. This is going nowhere. We'll leave it for now. What are you going to do? I thought I could simply shoot your kneecaps and leave. Where's your friend? Brian's dead. I was chasing Jack to avenge his death. And you succeeded, as I can see. No, I didn't do that. Still the same song. Jack tricked us. He got us drunk, then he tied us up and then brought some stranger in. 
He called himself the Night Rider or something like that. He told Jack to get rid of us, and from that point on, I can't remember anything. I woke up in a coffin. Brian wasn't so lucky. I've never heard of any Night Rider. I don't give a damn, do you understand? I just want to find the bastard and slug it out with him. If you really want to put me back in jail, then you'd be better shooting me dead. Just to make it clear, Mr. Moore, first of all, I'm not a policeman any longer. And another point, we probably have a common enemy. I wouldn't do such a thing under normal circumstances, and yes, I would kill you, but things have changed. If you want to find that person, I might help you. Think about it. Now get out. The police officers will be here shortly. I don't trust you. They're waiting for me outside. There are only the two of us here. Now go. We'll meet in the church, and we can discuss the rest later. You're crazy. Yes, I am. I've come here to kill you, but I am offering you an alliance instead. I must have gone mad. I must have gone crazy. Ganging up with a policeman. I should slip away before it's too late. Did anybody follow you, Mr. Moore? I don't think so. So you see, I keep my word. Not the police, nor anybody else knows that you are here. Okay. So let's presume that's true. What do you want from me? Because of you, I have been suspended and will stand trial. Yet, unlike you, I am not facing the death penalty. Look, I don't negotiate with police. I can handle my own problems. I think your only chance is to disappear. What would you say to a voyage and starting a new life in America? I can arrange it so you won't have to travel as a stowaway. You'll get a ticket for me? Only on the condition that you help me solve my problem. Sounds fair. But how can I be sure you're not playing tricks? To be honest, Mr. Moore, I'd be delighted never to set eyes on you again. On the other side of the ocean, you can do whatever you want. It won't be my problem. To put it bluntly, I'll get rid of you faster this way than if I put you on trial and waited for your execution. Fine, but let me make one thing clear. I'm not some sort of police dog. And I am not a policeman anymore. <laughs>